A reminder that we live in an area prone to seismic activity. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe was in the field today talking with a visiting geologist about what may come. Angela. Well, I walked up to where two tectonic plates meet right in our backyard in the Whitewater Canyon. Scientists and students from UT Austin are in the valley to study the San Andreas Fault and looked at a portion of the fault this afternoon. The sudden rumbling and shaking is a reminder the San Andreas Fault is our neighbor. That was great for us because we're visiting from Texas and it's just a really fun thing to actually have an earthquake, you know, when we're geologists visiting from elsewhere. They met at Marcus Hughes Log Cabin, which sits just 100 feet on the Pacific Plate. The uh, Pacific Plate attached to Hawaii and Japan and the North American Plate attached to New York and Iceland these two tectonic plates, continental plates, have come together. More than two decades ago, a quake took down several structures here in the Whitewater Canyon. Hughes engineered his home for a major earthquake. This section of the San Andreas in Whitewater Canyon is very, very active. Dr. Baer told us what makes this area unique. It's the rate of motion. This is a huge plate boundary fault zone, definitely one of the largest in the world. And, um, you know, it's very fast moving and it's a large system that's, you know, not only includes the San Andreas, but includes several faults that go eastward all the way toward the Mojave Desert, um, the Sierra Nevada area, and also sort of um, westward into the Pacific underwater. Hugh says the mission of the Whitewater Canyon Earth and Biological Sciences is to bring scientists here to study the San Andreas to really get into predicting and really get, get into the science of when the big one is supposed to happen because it is imminent. We just don't know when. We still don't know a lot about sort of when the next earthquake might occur on this strand, of particularly the southern San Andreas, which hasn't had a large earthquake in several hundred years. So um, it's definitely worthwhile trying to figure out, um, you know, how fast it's moving. And Hughes says another university will be out later this month to install GPS recording stations and seismometers to study that San Andreas Fault. Back to you.